Hello there. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about a huge collection of Kirby merchandise um, known as Remens Terrarium Collection and Starium Collection. And there's also a bonus little collection that I'll be talking about as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I have to be really careful with these because they fall apart. And they're on a very precarious thing over here. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. These little Kirby figures in jars. Um, and unfortunately, they kind of fall apart if you don't hold them together. They display just fine, but when I'm trying to hold them up for the camera, it's going to be kind of interesting. So um, just look at the detail on just this one. Like the, they could have gone really simple. I mean, Kirby's art is pretty simple, but um, let me just put that in there like that so I can hold this. This is the Kirby figure. How tiny that is. Um, so yeah, the bottom just kind of comes out. They don't um, like snap together. And the other part is the, the Kirby figures don't really have a peg or anything to sit on in this first set. So it's kind of hard to get Kirby to stay where he is and get this on and the topper i mean the topper is pretty pointless you can do that but anyway it's kind of like a little scene in a jar and the first set that they came out with was just kind of cute scenes later on they're like scenes from the games which i like better but um these came out first and i like these that was kirby fishing on an island this one is Kirby in like an ice cave with chili. And I'm trying to get really close to the camera so you can see the detail. And there's just, he's just sitting on this pedestal here. There's no pegs or anything. Looks like Kirby just built a snowman. Okay. So these may be like scenes of art that have been previously done. Um, I don't know without the box what this, where the figures are supposed to be on this. Um, there's a little Maxim tomato there in the behind. Um, whether like Kirby is supposed to be sitting here or you know like this or something, I don't know. It's weird that there's a stump here, um, but there's no. Oh boy, I just lost it. <laughs> That's the thing with these figures. Rather than try to fish that out, I'm just going to set it down so you can see right where they landed. The next one of these orbs is this one where he's in bubbly clouds holding a parasol. And this is like really difficult to get to sit because it swivels a lot. There's like a little divot there. And that's supposed to sit right there on that part and then stay, but it doesn't do the greatest job. Yeah, these are really cool, but they're a little bit frustrating. The last two are why I bought the set in the first place. Let's do this one first. So here is Wispy Woods, and that was one of the first Wispy Wood figures ever, which is surprising. Sorry, I had an itch. Um, that it took this long for a Wispy Woods figure. And then Kirby just kind of sits here again, like he's supposed to like sit on that apple. You can see the back. Uh, it's meant to be viewed from a specific angle. So it's, um, whoop, there goes another Kirby. <laughs> the later ones have pegs, so they sit in here nice, but Trying to get these on the shelf as they're supposed to be viewed can be very interesting. Okay. And the last one, probably the coolest one, it's the Fountain of Dreams. Now Kirby just kind of sits there on the Fountain of Dreams with the star rod there. 
So that one is definitely a scene or a locale that's well known in the games. So that's the first set. Um, the second set that came out, it's hard to remember how all these released. Um, I don't have the box for that set, unfortunately. But I think the next set is this one. So let's look at these ones. <clears throat> and because they don't have the pegs yet and they just sit on here like this, I think I'm right that this is the second one that came out. So this is great because it's Kirby's house. And I love that Kirby lives in such a modest house. Now this one, they have the figures on a peg. So they just kind of sit there and they can pop up. I don't think the house can, but Kirby can. There's some um, assembly required with these. Yeah, his modest little home, savior of pop star in the universe multiple times, and he lives in a little ball. <laughs> okay, the next one. Oh, yeah. Same thing with these. The bottom just kind of comes off. Um, so it's interesting, and this is kind of cool. I love this scuba mask on, or the snorkel mask on Kirby. A lot of good it would do him deep in the ocean, but... And you can see on this that um, the jar is half blue, so definitely meant to be at, an, uh, at the correct angle. And there's that sea anemone enemy, sea anemone enemy uh, down there. I forget his name. And then there's a little invincibility lollipop. I like that scene. You never, you never saw figures of that before. I, I love Remens. Ability to just do everybody in the series. And they're very creative in, in all this. This is Kirby on a warp star. Just flying through. And there's some clouds. You gotta admit, the scenery in Dreamland is pretty cool. And this one just kind of comes off again. So if you don't hold it all together, it'll just fall apart. Let's see, what else do we have here? In this set, is this the only other one? No, there had to have been more. So this is a, uh, I couldn't determine if this was a scene from the game or not. Um, it's, it's definitely like, you know, Kirby fights Meta Knight in almost every game. The floor suggests that it's uh, Return of Meta Knight and it's the floor of the Halberd. And the window maybe kind of suggests that. The, but I don't know. It's tough to say whether it's actually from a specific game or not. Or if it's just Meta Knight versus Kirby. Sword Kirby. And it's, it's difficult to arrange the characters so that they actually look like they're battling each other. Like you could do that. But then it's kind of hard to see the characters' expressions and stuff. Um, so it's kind of an interesting set up because i think that this is you know the back isn't supposed to be seen as well but there's that one and then we have oh yes there's two more i think because these are those that was that one so there's this Well, Marx has fallen down. So here's Marx. And this is the end of Milky Way Wishes and Kirby Superstar. And he is battling Kirby. And the sun and the moon are there. Doing their deal. So that's, that's an actual scene from a game is the Marks battle. And again, just sitting on there. And I want to say that there's another one, but I don't know. Well, yeah, maybe that's part of that one. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is the last one in this set. And this <laughs> this one is weird. Um, obviously, it's the Great Cave Offensive. Again, from Kirby Superstar. I wondered if all these were from Kirby Superstar. But some are, you know, harder to tell than others. So the cave background is removable. And I just wanted to show you that Kirby has these little tiny pegs on the minecart. Hopefully you can see those. And they don't really sit on here very well. And then on top of that, there's these little... Oh, gosh. Let me find it. Hold on. There's these, like, microscopic little tiny figures that go in the minecart because he's, you know, hunting for treasure. And there's two... I don't know if you can... There's the heart. And the box art shows that you can, you know, just put Kirby on here like this on his track. And he'll sit there. And he doesn't. And then the heart faces forward so you can see that. Can't do that either. And then the mask kind of sits in the back. And at one point I had all of those things sitting just right how I wanted them. And then I went to go put it on the shelf and it all fell apart. So like this one's the most frustrating to get on a shelf. It's like, you know, then you get the top on because you need the range of mobility to get the pieces together. Then you get that part on, then you set it on the little pedestal and hopefully everything sits together. But whew, that one's tough. Tough, tough, tough. Okay, so... Let's move on to the last terrarium bit. Oh. That fell off of that. Hold on. So this one is definitely scenes from the game. Um, it's the last terrarium set. And this one's a bit of a spoiler, but this is from the original game, Kirby's Dreamland. And it's the big Kirby balloon that transports Castle DDD across Dreamland and you can you can't really see the hole in the bottom there is no hole on the figure but uh, Kirby punches a hole in the castle and then all the food that King DDD stole rains down on Dreamland so everybody's happy and that depicts that scene Kirby was never seen doing that again <laughs> okay the next one Oh, and these actually, you can hold, see, and the bottom doesn't fall off. So in the third set, they kind of learned that it was kind of obnoxious, and everything's on a peg, and everything sits nice, um, for the most part. But like, here you go again, there's a little peg when you put it together to set inside the pedestal, like that. And this is a great scene, it's the... Um, seen in Kirby's Adventure or Nightmare in Dreamland um, when Kirby's fighting the Nightmare. And the, the back is just painted on. The little sun back there is just painted on. Um, it looked like it would be part of the figure on the box, but it's kind of... I like it better that way. But it definitely has to be assembled correctly. Next one. So this one, this one confused the heck out of me because it's just this and this. And I thought there was a bottom piece like there's a bottom piece on every other thing. Well, in this one, it's actually supposed to be displayed like that, where the top is open. Um, I don't like that because then I can't see anything on top of it and it, it loses a display place on the shelf. So what I'm going to do is display it like this and have it be, you know, you can have some on top. Anyway, this is from Dr Kirby's Dream Course, which is a really odd choice. Um, it wasn't one of my favorite games. I would have wished that they'd gone with like Kirby's Dream Land 2 or 3 or something, but um, I mean, it's cool to have that. It's just a really weird game. It's like a Kirby golf game. Okay, this is the next one. 
Kirby Air Ride. And the, the detail on this is fantastic. So you have Kirby on a Warp Star and then Kirby on the Legendary Machine. And you can see how much detail is there. It's crazy. Hopefully it's not blurring out too bad. Everything sits on a peg, so everything's looking right. And The issue with this one, though, is the blue has little wisps of clouds, so it's supposed to look like that. But if I turn it around, like I want to display it, you kind of lose the wisps because they're behind. But I don't care. <laughs> All right, so here is from Kirby Return to Dreamland, where Magalore is on his ship with Kirby, deceiving him. I love the schematic of the ship in the background. That's awesome. Makes for a really detailed figure, but it's really easy to do. Let's see, the last one in this set is from Kirby Star Allies, where Kirby is giving his heart to Waddle Dee so they'll be friends, and Waddle Dee will do Kirby's bidding <laughs> and save the world. Again. Yeah, the, the detail on these is exquisite for such small figures. Like, Remint really knows what they're doing. They hired some great sculptors. So then there's um, some DX or Deluxe or whatever uh, models of these. And the first is the coolest, uh, Kirby's Dreamland 2 with Rick, Koo, and Kine. And Kirby is writing Rick. And this one is, I think this one came out before the set I just showed you. Because they, this is, I think, the first to feature the peg and the pedal still. But they really needed to, when it's this size, they needed to have it much bigger. I think this comes off. Anyway. There's a Maxim tomato and blocks and those weird hills and whatever. Um, a lot of extra detail thrown in here, but obviously stars of the show are the three friends. And the next one is The Fountain of Dreams with King Dedede and Kirby on a Warp Star with the star rod he's holding it. Now the, the interesting part here is... So we can get it apart for you. Don't have room. So I'm going to hold up the other Fountain of Dreams here. Here we're just going to fall off. So this was the first one, and this is the second one, and it looks like they're almost the same. But this one actually see, sees the Fountain of Dreams a little bit smaller than the first one that focuses on it, which is interesting. See the Star Rod's a little bit smaller and whatever. Um, so just a weird, interesting detail. These spires were featured in Mother 1. <laughs> um, so there you go. That's a, that's a great scene. I had to pull all this back together. Kirby sits right there. So yeah, this is really simple to put together compared to the other ones. You just have to make sure that your detail is in the back and that you're holding it right. Oh, he fell. Oh, well. Oh. Whoa. I'm surprised that fell out of there. That's really well positioned. Got a little water spout fell out. Good heavens, this is going well, isn't it? Okay, so that part goes there. This is the bottom. My previous statement about it being easy is uh, incorrect. <laughs> All right, there you go. Next set is called the Starium Collection. And it's 
focusing on the various stars in Kirby's universe, I guess. Uh, here is Pop Star, obviously not to scale. Uh, it features Kirby and Bandana Waddle D, and it also has a piece of candy, and it looks like the ice cream bit has fallen off over here, which means it's somewhere over here. Here it is. All these tiny little pieces. There's your ice cream cone. And where that goes, <laughs> this is definitely part of the review, is how hard these are to keep together. And these actually provide more anxiety because there's no dome around them. But I do love this part. So they have this little peg here in the invincibility lollipop so it stands up like it does in the game. I love the creativity of these though. So we have Wispy Woods. I think this is the green star is what they called this. So he's on a warp star. He's stealing an apple from Wispy Woods. Wispy Woods doesn't seem that thrilled about that. Um, no wonder he's a bad guy all the time. Kirby steals his apple. So he just sits on a little peg. Everything kind of wobbles, but it stays on there. Like it's not um, terrible. And you don't have to assemble this part, um, which is true for the previous two. Just kind of connect them. This one, though, I'm still fighting with. This is called the Drop Star. And you can see that this part is supposed to be level. Um, let me give it a shot again because you have it here but then as you're putting it together it falls apart try to get off of there I'm trying to angle it while you're holding that and then Kirby and Waddle Dee they don't have a peg so they're just sitting there there's not a whole lot of place to go but see then then you get it straight and then when you put put it in the peg it's ugh, it's off. What I want to do is have it sitting on here, and then you angle it where you want it, and then you put this part back on, and there. When this goes a specific way on there, there. That's not as bad. Still a little crooked, but... So the sea anemone guy is down there again. That's quite the scene for such a small little... Whatever it is. <laughs> diorama thing. And we got Kirby and Waddle Dee just kind of hanging out. I don't think that ever happened in the in a game, but... What else? I guess we have three left. This one I think is called the Moon Star, and it features Cracko and a sleeping Kirby. Cracko's about to be really mean to Kirby. Um, all the detail on this is great. I kind of wish the moon lit up, just because they have it like transparent. But you know, that'd be asking a lot, I guess. And then, let's see. Here is Magalore with a dream core inside like this really cool globe. This is another one that's really hard to put together because of the angle. Um, it's really cool though. It does spin, but it's kind of pointless to spin it. Oh, I just fixed it. Another really good one because of the detail. My dream core looks a little bit funky looks different than it does on the box but that's like detail inside a bubble so i'm not complaining too much what i am complaining about is this last figure um this is called mechanical star i forget what that one was called but um why am i upset about this one because it's missing a piece there's supposed to be like a little turn key right here and mine didn't come with one and i searched the box and i searched the area and i didn't feel anything fall and I don't know. Maybe I have it. Maybe I don't. I've opened blind box stuff before where it just falls out and you lose it. 
or it just doesn't come with it. But I did want to show just how great this Marx figure is. The paint job and the detail. I mean, the, the hat is fuzzy. And he's got his little bow tie on there. I mean, that is great. Such good figures. And there's not a lot of Mark stuff. All right, that is that set. There's one more set to go. Let's drag it on a little bit. But um, the, oh, first I need to show the box. So this was the box for the second set. And there is six. Do, 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 and I showed six, I think. Yeah. And then this one was for the third set I showed. And that this one's called like Memories or something. Game Selection, Terrarium Collection. And it has memories from all the games. And then do, 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 do. there's the Starium Collection. And it's funny, the one that I'm has a problem with, see the little turnkey on there isn't featured on the top. It's weird. It's weird. I wonder if he's like a bonus one or something. I don't know. Because they feature Popstar twice. But that's just because you... Uh, most retailers will take this case and fold it into a display. Like a counter display. Last one I'm going to talk about is this one, and it's this um, Tree in Dreams, and it's a bunch of figures that make up a vine like in Kirby Triple Deluxe, and it's it uses the same sort of principles that this does. I've got a couple of pieces to add before I show it off. I'm going to show it off one by one. Oh boy. So I actually I did a whole unboxing video of this. I didn't realize that my phone had died. So now I've got it all open and everything, so sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention. But you know, whatever. So every one of these boxes show the box, blind box. And I haven't really thoroughly um, looked over the box to see if you can tell which is which. But everyone comes with a little story card. And so it has like the story of your piece and then the overall story with Taranza. And I doubt anyone's like translated this, but it's cool that it's all out there so every piece comes with a base and also comes with like this little plug so if you only wanted one you can kind of just plug the top and then you don't need to show the rest of the stuff or something anyway here is waddle d with a parasol and the parasol just kind of sat on there it, it, it's interesting to assemble all this stuff but it's all pegs and whatnot, so it's not that difficult. Let me have, oh, don't fall over. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, definitely something to know about this set is it falls apart really easily and you lose all the pieces really quickly. So we were looking at this with the base and you can really arrange it any way you like even like spiraling around if you want. Um, so let's look at all the other pieces. Um, this set has Kirby, which does not have a peg, so we can just fall off of there. And then we have Waddle Dee with a little tiny, tiny flower. And the thing about the flower, and really a lot of this set, is it comes in bags like this where you're ripping it, 
And you got to make really sure that all the little tiny, tiny pieces are in these little sections are in the back while you rip, because if you rip it wrong, it'll send pieces flying and it's no good at all. Um, <laughs> the pieces are just ridiculously small. There's another one with Magalore that's just way tiny. Um, next one I'll show you is this one where Kirby's watering a little flower. And what's neat about this one is well, a tiny, tiny watering can, like the, the peg is that big. Then the hole is like super small, so it's kind of crazy that it all fits together. But um, there's the parasol, and then it goes through his arm. The whole stick does, and then this. Because I kind of figured that you'd connect it the handle down here and then you connect the top there and then the parasol part would put on top but it goes right through that's a better way to do it kind of it was kind of hard to do without breaking stuff but it, they seem pretty durable so i'm not that worried about it next one i did was meta knight and the issue with meta knight is trying to angle him so the next piece that goes on isn't affected or bumped um, so he's kind of like gliding along and kind of touching the uh, the thing, the vine. And I did parasol, so he's kind of out of the way. This one is the highest anxiety one. It's a great little figure of Magalore, and he's happy. But like these little tiny, tiny, tiny stars. Let me just show you. They're ridiculously tiny, and then they just kind of hang here. So if you if the thing were to fall over, which is you know entirely possible, you, those would probably get lost. <laughs> okay, so that is five. So the last one is the topper where Kirby has the star rod on top, plucked from the top, and this is kind of really only viewable from one angle because all the details on the front here with the stars and stuff. keeping Kirby angled because they kind of want to these little spires or whatever those flashes of water I don't know they kind of want to push the figure away from where you want to have him looks like you should have it be kind of like here yeah okay so now I'll show you the whole thing together if I can lift it and not lose everything So there is all of the figures in a tower. And that's really nice for collectors like me that, that can put this on a shelf and have a bunch of figures and a nice scene from a game and have it be vertical so you don't have to worry about trying to find a spot for them all like all these other terrarium bits you have to find spaces for. And I really like that that's like a scene from Triple Deluxe, kind of. Um, it's, it's great to have like game scenes uh, that you can just look at and remember, oh yeah, I love playing that game. Um, I wish like all my series would do that. Um, well, and like I've seen those uh, diorama things on Etsy. They're like little boxes, little cubes, and they have like a scene from Street Fighter all pixelated, and they just like have, either they 3D print it or that it's paper or something. I'm not sure how they do it, but they're awesome. So if you're someone who does that, uh, someone who does that, that's awesome. I love that. Um, I don't have room to purchase any of them right now, but I imagine like for my favorite games like Mario 3 and maybe some other ones, I hope to get some of those from a seller uh, soon because I just love those. Just the scene of the game um, in your room without having to throw up a TV and clean discs and cartridges and make sure it plugs into the TV right and make sure all the inputs are correct and uh, gaming. <laughs> Can't beat it, but it's, it's a hobby and it takes a lot of time and money and energy all right well thanks for another video thanks for watching um hope you enjoyed this huge video of all these little figures um yeah and if you want them they're from remint uh they're still pretty available available um especially the latest two series but they they're going up in price already um of course so once they're out of print which basically all this stuff is i think except for the tree of dreams that's the most recent one um they'll probably go up and up and up and up because they're like really cool pieces that collectors want so 
Um, if you can, just hop on them as soon as you can. Uh, that's all for me. Thanks for watching.